I found that in every project I do, there's always a dramatic learning curve. This project, for example, I've only done five drawings and my drawing materials have pretty much stayed the same, but already I can tell that my drawing technique has shifted quite a bit since that first drawing that I did. In this early experimental stage, I really see every drawing as an opportunity for me to try something different each time, whether it's the way I'm holding my pencil, whether it's the way I'm turning the paper, the shape of the drawing, it's a chance for me to really play with something different. My current focus right now in this project is to really focus on stabilizing my technique and format for these drawings, although they may shift later on, it's important for me to have kind of an anchor point in the project in that way. Then it can really free me up to kind of explore my subject matter, do a lot more research. This is an unusual project in that I came up with the imagery before I figured out what the work was really about, so I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more research and to discover what I'm really trying to say with this work. In these early drawing experiments, I really have to be okay with sacrificing a lot of the work that I end up doing. If I'm precious about the drawings that I do and I don't wanna do anything to them, I know that I'm gonna miss out on so many creative opportunities. So I really have to be all right with destroying the pieces, with losing a lot of the work just for the sake of experimentation because that's when things really start to happen. That really was the case with these drawings because I felt like once I started to tear and rip and layer the paper, that's when I really felt like these drawings became sculptures in a way. That was really exciting when that started to happen because even though I have my master's degree in sculpture, I don't really think about myself as a sculptor. But the thing is so much of the work that I do has kind of sculptural ideas embedded in it. So these drawings were kind of the perfect combination of sculpture and drawing. And I really sort of think about the drawings as coming alive once they start to become much more dimensional.